Make this okay, the best guys, draft resolution yes. in this entire committee. So that the people will vote for us. Alright? Okay, guys. So that the people who are on okay, middle okay, no so that they vote for us. Make, see, our aim is to make a better draft resolution so that the people who are on middle okay. ground, but in that block, yeah, will yeah, vote for exactly. us. Okay, so how about this, guys? Everybody, let's sit down. We tell you the loopholes we have in mind. You come up with those solutions and together we form a block. Okay. What are the Goal is the same, right? So the, the means to achieve it might be different, and that's what we want in Amman when many different countries have their ideas. Okay. So I think if, if from the beginning we have the mindset of unanimous resolution. Yeah. 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 How many troops yeah. 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 there are going to be? We have to see that we have to use them for the next one and I would imagine a good leader is also a good listener. It's, it's not the usual paradigm that we think there has to be a leader and a follower, or leader and followers for that matter. I think a, leader sh a, a good leader is actually who's going to bring in a collective, who's going to take in views and opinions and thoughts of various people because no one person can actually sort of run the world or can take all decisions. And I think this kind of a mock UN is a great way of role playing and taking on those responsibilities. And when you speak through that responsibility and that position, you tend to deliberate and ask sort of deeper questions. Recently, uh, Fabian Picardo, Chief Minister of Gibraltar, has also said that he would want a separate referendum on EU membership if Britain sought to leave. Delegates, this is a clear representation of a domino effect created by one of the largest members of the EU leaving the EU and setting an example. When you get to represent a country that has its own set of policies that are completely independent from your views, you really get to put yourself in that mindset. Even if you disagree with whatever that policy is, you're put in this mental exercise where you have to understand a different perspective, a different cultural background that led to those policies. And also, gender sensitizing curriculum is an important way that we can improve the quality of education. And focusing on the three A's, which is the affordability, accessibility, and availability. Let's motion for a moderated caucus to discuss the freedom of journalism. Neha will hold that dilatory, but things more like let's talk about the creation of training programs, let's talk about identification protocols. Like I will entertain uh, a speaker for and a speaker against. Actually, two speakers for and two speakers We for. all, as directors, have put a lot of hard work into finding topics that can pique the interest of the delegates, that can teach them new viewpoints on the world, and that can challenge them to ask themselves questions that they would not otherwise. Topics that we choose are designed to highlight problems, uh, some of which are general problems that affect different countries in different ways, and part of the research process is understanding how different countries would see this problem. Other problems we address are regional specific and they give delegates the opportunity to, uh, to do a deep dive on a region and really get a sense of how that region is addressing some major issue of importance to those countries. The Constitution, and hence the delegates of China clearly feel that this military aid in the form of arms and tanks should have been provided to the African Union or the MNJTS. Also, this shouldn't have been provided to the Nigerian government alone, mainly because it's not an internal problem within Nigeria, but it's a problem in countries like Chad and Cameroon. Now the Central Identities Data Repository is the central database. Okay? Uh, they, they will be forbidden from receiving any personal information. Access is allowed only on these conditions. One. If you don't know how to relate your information to other people in a respectful and cooperative way, then it doesn't really matter how well you know the information of your own policy. Like everything is about respect because if you give respect, you'll gain respect. And also likability, it doesn't mean that you have to sell out or be someone you're not, but if you're being genuinely kind to somebody else and you want to hear what they have to say, and then you thoughtfully incorporate your ideas together, then you're always going to produce a better product than if you bully everybody into doing what you want. Anybody can write a great resolution and give a great speech, and those are all things that you can do very independently. 
but what you can only do in committee, you know, what you can't prepare outside is the engagement with the other delegates, the ability to collaborate on resolutions or on directives, and that skill is a lot harder to come by than just sheer eloquence or ability to write well. As members of the Security Council, you cannot intervene in local affairs, no matter if your intentions are good or bad. If you wish This is a modern age. We can't go to the, you know, prehistoric time when you had to sit and memorize things. This is a time where children have to learn it, do it, experience it, and grow from it. Simulation of international relations is completely different from studying international relations. Because you hear about people making these bargains, these, these politics, you hear about negotiations, you read about them, but you'd never understand it until you have to actually do it yourself. You often meet people who have traveled from so far away. You just learn so much more about how different people are. And aside from like the specifics you learn about the culture, you just approach everything with a much more open mindset. I think that you know the delegates that are here are learning so much from each other. They are, are gaining so much from being together at this forum. Uh, where there are, where there is such a strong international presence. It's a really great opportunity to meet people from a bunch of different backgrounds. I feel like they're very often international, so you can meet people who you wouldn't have had an opportunity to meet otherwise. And because you're working so closely together on a topic that you really are very passionate about and have really prepared for, you and like almost instantaneously develop this kind of bond. Um, and we're all just really focused on making it an incredible time, both substantively and also, you know, incorporating a little bit of fun. It's not just a conference where you come, you attend, you leave, you go home. It's an experience. You know, we have uh, events after committee, we have like delegate socials, we have opportunities to meet the directors. <laughs> an art form that has no barriers. This is what I'd like to share with you, where you can make a change and you can empower yourself with it. So yoga is not only the flexibility of the body, but it's also the flexibility of the mind. So what is the technology? It is the open source drug discovery of Council of Scientific and Industrial Research. So we developed an open source, we a global consortium. I found these children are very inquisitive. They have no barriers. I found them that you know, there is no psychological barrier and they are looking ahead to change. They are not diffident. So that is what I felt. They are vibrant, they are intelligent and they are looking for a bright future with optimism. That is what is the winner which will bring a new paradigm for the whole humanity. There will be moments in the life of, uh, in, the, in the time of these students who have kept, who are gathered here when something will happen and it will click. Somebody will say, you know, this is what I want to do. Yes, this is a problem worth addressing. Yes, we should not live with this. Why don't I do something about this? 
welcome to a world where that has happened on a global scale, ladies and gentlemen. That is the word this, ladies and gentlemen, case is where you're is where you're seeing the effects. The most important thing about a Malian conference is not the gavel. It's not winning. It is actually trying to solve the problem and realizing that while it may not be easy and it may not even be possible, that trying is very, very important. The delegates that you're working with are not your competition. They are your potential teammates. And the best way for you to come into conference and advocate for your position is to find the middle ground between you and the other delegates so that all of you can advocate for the same ideas together. A lot of people feel like they don't have the power to make change in the world, but I think that Model UN really gives you that, that chance to, to hone your skills and, and move yourselves toward where you want to be making the change in the world that you wish to see. So. I think everyone's looking at the youth because you know it's become almost a cliche that you are the future and that you're going to change the world, but it's also a reality. The fact is that a lot of wrongs have been done by people who have been now, I mean, who are running the world today and those who have run before as well. So I think everyone's looking at sort of the youth and hoping that sort of the youth leadership will take certain decisions that are not only pragmatic but also idealistic. They will come with a certain conviction to actually make the world a better place. In nowadays, yes, it's truth that uh, it seems there are a lot of pressure, as I said earlier, on developing the head of the people. So sometimes that if when that becomes a little extreme then humans tend to become more like a machine rather than human. But the, what the specialty that proves human as human is their kindness of heart, warmthness of their heart, the caring nature of human heart, you know, kindness of human heart, compassion of human heart. The simplicity of the human heart that is filled with so much love and care. not despair. The misery that is now upon us is but the passing of greed, the bitterness of men who fear the way of human progress. The hate of men will pass and dictators die, and the power they took from the people will return to the people, and so long as men die, liberty will never perish. Don't give yourselves to these unnatural men, machine men with machine minds and machine hearts. You are not machines, you are not cattle, you are men. You, the people, have the power to make this life free and beautiful, to make this life a wonderful adventure. Let us use that power. Let us all unite. You will rise. This conference in particular brings some of the most well-researched delegates that I have ever seen. It's just outstanding. You know, I was expecting some really, you know, fiery debates, some well-researched delegates and some really innovative ideas. And I think that I've gotten everything that I came for. It's been five years now, it's the fifth session. I think we have a really great team. We have a really fantastic host team as well, of course. Um, and, and I think that with so many bright minds working on it, it's going to be a really fantastic conference. And something like this experience of four days, whatever you may do, you may never be part of the UN, you may never be part of public policy, but I think what it will do is it will impact those choices, it will impact those responses. Some of the conversations you have in this conference, you'll probably revisit it, you'll probably discuss it with your friends, and that's how very little by little with baby steps your, your own mindset will develop. These four days will become life-changing as they help you discover what really makes you tick. Years from now, many of you, maybe not all of you, but many of you, could look back at these four days and say, you know what, it all started at Harvard and UN in 2015.